Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. So, um, yeah, it's been a while since I even talked about Moonbase Beta. Um, yeah, we can, you can see we have our nice little, uh, rover. Um, I got some bad news about this rover. This would be Rover 3, I believe. I don't really have a name for him. I'm not really good at naming, so if you guys ever want to come up with names to my rovers, um, just leave them in the comments, and uh, I'll choose uh, a uh, fitting name for them. Um, you know, I'm not going to, like, if it's, you know, just come up with something decent. So, um, yeah, I found out something, yeah, this, this guy, he does not work, um, not that he, it doesn't move or anything like that, it's more of, it does not do the intended functions. Now, Moon Base Beta, although I, um, it does not do the intended functions, I, uh, made a workaround. So let's switch to that. Um, it really wasn't, like, a huge difference. And, yeah, I know this thing probably looks like it's crazy right now, but, um, we can see through the planet right now. Um, we can see his feet as far as the eye can see. Uh, no. So, here's the rover itself right here. It's underneath. And I wanted to make a video of me actually attaching a piece to the, uh, station, or, I mean, well, the base, because uh, I feel like maybe I am leaving that out in a sense, and that um, you guys are kind of clueless on how it is I'm doing this. Now you can see it's backwards, but there's a reason for that. It's because the slope is downhill, so I'm just going to roll backwards nice and slowly. Um, once these brakes disengage, anytime now, here we go. Ah! So, um... Yeah, I, I kind of just lined this piece up. I didn't land it perfectly. I, I landed it somewhere over here, about a, two kilometers away. I uh, got this rover there and um, basically just uh, brought this piece over here and then realigned uh, the rover with this piece so they're perfectly straight. And uh, then afterwards, I just brought it as close as I could and tried to fit it up the best I could. And, um, yeah, it's not like all this was just so perfectly done. Um, I, I just wanted to make sure for recording purposes that you guys don't see me rolling back and forth for like 25 minutes trying to line up two pieces. So, wow. Yeah, there we go. So, sometimes I did not actually set up these legs in a uh, manner of, uh, you know, like actually having a, um, oh, getting phone calls while I'm recording, the mo about the most annoying thing ever. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. Um, I did not set up these legs on a, a quick command or anything like that. I just wanted to, uh, you know, try my best without using the quick commands and stuff like that. Um, these pieces should be docking up, or at least close to. Let me just try lowering the struts again. There we go. Now, let's lower these legs. And hopefully this thing doesn't go toppling around everywhere um yeah now this isn't really like a main piece of my base and I also am kind of it's weird because when I designed this thing I put all the solar panels on it and I didn't even plan on putting solar panels here because I wanted a little bit of a gap between the uh, base so I'm just going to extend these panels out and uh, our base will finally have a source of electricity. Actually, I'm going to put these panels back in first. Now that I think about it, getting this rover out 
it's not the hardest thing ever, but um, I don't want to bump one of these panels and knock it off. So you can see it's kind of elevated a little bit. All I do, just undock and uh, switch over. And uh, I should be able to just turn on RCS, turn on a little bit of power to turn, ooh, yeah. I just need to turn on, I just need to get a slight turn on this thing. That way I can get it out from underneath this monstrosity. <laughs> All right, come on. Just need you to turn a little bit. Come on, there we go. It's like it's got hydraulics. Oh God, don't don't flip over. That wouldn't be good. I don't wanna. <laughs> I've had to quick save like at least four or five times. This is actually the easiest docking I've done in a long time compared to Moonbase Alpha, which basically every single piece I had to construct and then reconstruct and reconstruct, it was like a constant headache. So turn the brakes on. I do not want to smash into that boulder that I'll just clip through anyways. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll switch back to the base. And uh, let's get these panels out. So this space right now is looking still kind of like an infant compared to Moonbase ba um, Alpha. But I'm going to uh, add a lot more onto it um, in these coming, you know, like in this weekend maybe. I don't know. I, I hate saying this weekend in a video because nobody knows what I'm talking about like three weeks later. So... Anyways, guys, we have our moon base, and we have power. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to make a little slight variation to this module. I'm going to keep the exact same kind of style for the most part, but what I'm going to do is, you know, maybe put one with a radio communications tower on it, and then another one maybe with some other kind of, you know, just a little bit not much of a difference in um you know any of it just you know like one's gonna have a communication tower one's gonna have something else this one's gonna have something else and um uh, you know i'm just i'm not i'm trying to use the least amount of pieces but also keep it somewhat um similar as far as these uh these modules go the crew modules Although, the other ones will have ladders. Alright, does this one have a ladder? Oh, yeah, it does. Look at that. Um, that's like one thing I always forget is putting a ladder on all my spacecraft. So, um, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. And um, there will be more to come on the moon base. Uh, I'm going to work on the Minmus base as well. Uh, you know, having like 12 projects all going on at the exact same time doesn't really leave you a lot of free time to do, you know, everything. But everything will be done eventually. Or it will be close to done. Wh whichever one comes first. So anyways, thank you for watching. And uh, I don't know if I said this, but if you like what you see here, subscribe because there's always more to come. And if you guys have any ideas on things that you want to see, something that I haven't covered or maybe something that I haven't really touched on too much, um, yeah, okay, uh, <laughs> um, uh, let me know and uh, I'll try my best to fit it in. So, oh wow, that even sounded worse. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.